everyone. Oh, it feels like it's been forever since I I vlogged, but it is only Friday. Uh, I didn't. We didn't do much anything. I've just woke up. I can't talk. We didn't really end up doing anything over the weekend, so I didn't end up vlogging. Um, unfortunately, I'm not feeling great this morning. Hopefully, it'll I feel better. I didn't feel amazing over the weekend. I was, I was okay, but on and off, I didn't feel great. So, um, and I'm a bit sad this morning. I don't know it's because I've been warm. I thought it wasn't warm over the weekend. It was cool again. It was a gorgeous sunrise this morning. Well, that's pretty anyway. Pretty skies. But I said, I've just woken up, so I'm going to take all my medication, mainly my pain bed I'm interested in right now, and see if I can feel it better, and then hopefully do my walk and my workout. I did a workout on Saturday. Like, as I said, I didn't do anything the weekend. I did do my walk the dogs on Saturday and did it, and went for, and did my workout. Just don't feel. If I continue to do so, I won't vlog today, but we'll see. Hopefully, I'll have a vlog. If I might get a bit done because I didn't do anything the weekend really at all. <laughs> well, we did finish doing some Christmas decorating, as you can. Then I put the tree up, and I ended up putting a few bits out in that room. I've still got more to do. That was my grand achievement for the weekend. <laughs> well, it turns out it's good I'm vlogging today because. Christy was late getting ready for school and missed her ride with Pop to school, so I've got to take her, which is good for the dogs because we'll go for a walk in town and um, we'll do an adventure walk and probably go down to the beach. Kind of mucks up my morning quite a bit, but anyway, they'll enjoy it. I'm two very excited dogs ready and I'm going to take the GoPro for filming out on the walk. It's smaller and easier, if I can remember how to work it, that is. <laughs> Are you puppies excited?
back to the car. I am exhausted. That was, oh my face is bright red, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's pretty warm out there. Um, we walked for about 53 minutes, I think the um, Argus said. Come back in the car park, it's full now. There's plenty of spots when we left. But um, yeah, there's a lot of people around. I mean, it's a gorgeous day out. But I'm glad to be done. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So are the dogs, I think. So <sighs> now drink some water, head home, recover. I thought I might have done some upper body workout, but I don't think so anymore. That might have to wait till tomorrow. I think I did enough today. <laughs> and walking on the sand was hard work. <laughs> and I don't know how many of you follow me on Snapchat. I used to do my first Snapchat. So I don't know how it is because I haven't watched it back, but hopefully it was all right. <laughs> Anyway, I'm heading home now. Yeah, back home. I just got, I just got out of the car a big lot of sand thrown at me. I think I might take my shoes off out here because I'm thinking they might be full of, well I know they're full of sand, I can feel it. That's the downside of walking on the beach. It actually wasn't all the sand, so I don't know if it's all in the shoes or these shoes don't pick up sand. <laughs> well, I've got to get all my stuff out of the car. There's so many bits and pieces from something you go for a walk at the beach. I think I'm not quite as red as I was before though. I still think I'm a little bit red in the face. It was a good walk. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I need to try and make sure I get to the beach. I really should be aiming for once a week. I mean, we live so close to the beach. I really should take advantage of it. I'd like to try and even get for a few, few swims at the beach this year, but it'll, who knows. I actually want to go take go for a swim with the dogs. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't know, we usually going to go to the dog beach. It's not usually in the summer, but I'd kind of like to do that too. I'd make a few goals for the for the summer. Anyway, I'm not even hungry yet. I'm, I was before we left. I'm hungry on the way there. And now I'm not hungry, I'm just thirsty. But um, I don't want to cool down further. I'm just going to have a shower. Because now it's all, I'm sandy, sweaty, icky. And feel pretty gross really. <laughs> so, I think I might just go and jump in the shower and then I'll get some breakfast afterwards and then I can have a late lunch. No, I'm not yet showered. <laughs> I went upstairs and I think I'm still cleaning the, my shower. So, um, I will get breakfast. There we go. One of the ugliest breakfasts in the world, but absolutely delicious. Just my usual rice bowl. Feeling good now, I finally got my bath, sorry, shower. Finally got my shower and wash my hair. Um, I have a problem though because so many clothes don't fit me anymore. I put them on, they're far too big. Like under the arms, it's too gapey. Even this dress, I'm wearing this dress. It's um, mainly because I just didn't have anything else to wear up there. I think I've got a few things that I want to wear that fit. All right, still in the washing or waiting to be ironed. <laughs> I don't usually wear dresses just around the house, but I'm not doing much today. Like, if I was doing like work, I don't like wearing dresses. I want to be more comfortable in pants and a top for, you know, doing physical work, but I'm pretty sure I won't be doing anything today. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think so. What's the time? 25 to 11. No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, but I, I did order a few things for autograph. I kind of want to order now. I thought I ordered some pants, which I really hope the pants fit, the three quarter pants. Because even if I put on pants, I can't wear them. So I really don't have any, I've got some shorts that fit. The three quarter pants I was wearing just got too big. I can't. They're just so unflattering. Like they get too big and they're just unflattering. Um, I lost six and a half kilos, which is a you know a reasonable chunk of weight. Certainly, obviously a, th a size in clothing. So things that are not those pants when I got them were probably a little bit on the big side anyway. So things that were slightly big when I got them are now way too big. Um, <laughs> the problems that you have. So I ordered yeah a dress, a top, and some three quarter pants. So hopefully they'll be all right. And I'm trying to wear like this dress as much as I can before it gets too big. And I've got the blue dress that I bought. Um, I haven't even worn it yet. Still got the tag on it. It's a bit more dressy than this, but I'm not with that tomorrow. I'm just not a big dress wearer, but I like to have like one or two dresses. I I wear them on the cruise, but not that too big. But one, my dress, my max dress from last summer, it fits. So I'm not wearing it yet because I'll leave it until these don't fit. And they're not wearing that one because it's a size smaller, so I sort of it's iron ready to go. <laughs> but I'm holding off for now. Um, so it'll be like a new dress when I get to wear it again. Anyway, I've still got the kitchen to clean up. And the dishwasher's on. I, I mustn't have put it on last night when I went to bed, I stacked it and put the tablet in and haven't pressed go. Um, and a thing that I assume would have looked in it, saw it was full or not on, and just left it instead of thinking I better put it on now. So it wasn't didn't go on until I got home. 
Now, I was just importing my GoPro footage and it doesn't look like I've got as much as I thought I had. Um, I have a lot of trouble with the GoPro at the minute. I can't, I mean, I've, I've used it. I used it last summer, but the last time I used it, I had trouble with it. And I thought I'd worked it out, but obviously not. Um, I'll have to practice a bit more with it, I guess, for, before the cruise. So, but I can't remember. I didn't film as much because I was doing Snapchat as well. So maybe because I was like doing the GoPro, I was taking photos with my phone and doing Snapchat. Maybe I just got confused and thought I had more than I did. But I was only like two, I think two clips at the actual beach. I'm sure I took more than that. Anyway, get a bit of an idea of what the day was like. And um, well, the one good thing about the GoPro is I get lots of photos because then you're filming, it takes a photo like every, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So I have lots of photos to import. I have 65 photos. <laughs> Plus those that I talk on my phone. <laughs> so I've written up my little list of things I need to do. I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else. Um, so I've got the eggs on now to boil. I'm also going to make my salad for lunch, obviously. <laughs> um, there's potatoes in the oven, so I need to do them today. Potatoes in the oven. There's potatoes in the fridge from last night's dinner, so I don't need to worry about doing potatoes. So I think I will probably just work my way down the list, probably. I might do the cheese cookies later. Although I should probably try and really do everything now before I sit down and have my lunch, shouldn't I? And then it's all done. There we go. Snacks are all done. Oh, the eggs started boiling when I was outside. Uh, let's just do another five minutes. <laughs> Don't know how long I was out there for. All right, so I can put that all back in and also restock the protein um, bounce balls that Kevin likes and his um, Annie's fruit strips, whatever they're called. He bought some um, lamingtons yesterday, so I've packaged them up. Oh, and also packaged these, like these fruit tarts that he bought a while ago. And they last forever. Yeah, and did the lamingtons. There's some wrapped and some unwrapped. So I've just made up the mix that Kevin likes on top of his Greek yogurt, which is the sultanas, and these aren't labelled, but they are cranberries, dried cranberries. And we do a mix together, and that will go on top of his yogurts, which I'm about to do. So I've also done up some grapes there for Christy for lunches, and Kevin and maybe Athena will want some. And that's all the grapes that I got last week that were super expensive gone, and I've also got a bowl for myself to have later on. Well, I was tempted to stop working a little bit ago because I'm tired, but I thought I'll just get finished. So I did the washing up. I've made the almond milk, I've also done my salad, and then I just did some overnight oats. So the only thing I haven't done is the chia cookies, so they may or may not get done today. doesn't matter if they don't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish off my lunch now and go and enjoy that. Oh, I'm looking forward to this now. Normal salad base. I've actually got some of the rice paper noodles still left over. A jiggy bean patties. And I've only got like a half a mango today because the other half had gone started to go bad. Uh, even though this part was perfect, it's obviously got a spot or something on it. And creamy garlic dressing. So, yum! And I'm so ready to sit down. I am just back from the school run, but I'm back childless. Just as I arrived, well, just before I got to the school, I was almost there. Christy rings to say she's going shopping with her friend this afternoon. She sent me a message, but obviously I didn't get the message. <laughs> it's pretty hopeless. I told her before, I've got to make sure people know the message. Because she messaged me just after she was allowed out of class at three o'clock, I would have only been five minutes up the road rather than all the way to school. Anyway, I barely enjoy this car ride, so it's not a total loss. And I got to listen to some more music, so I'm listening to this concert music for next week now. The three bands that are going to be performing next week. So yes, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I'll start cleaning this most of that stuff away. So at school, I'll just tidy up a little bit more, and um, then I will probably go and sit on the couch again. Big surprise. I'm trying to find a quiet area where I can chat with you guys. Um, Kevin's home. He's cooking a barbecue with some sausages for the kids and for himself. I've just um, thrown a soy snitchel in the oven and I'm going to have a little um, quinoa and veggie frozen pack that I've got. So I'll just do for dinner. I just got attacked by mozzies. Can you see the big white mark on my elbow? Or just below my elbow? Yeah, and I think I've got one on. Look. Mozzie's love. I just react to mozzie bites. I don't know where they come from. I've just gone and sprayed them. I'm thinking it's where I'm sitting on, my, where I've been sitting on the couch. So, because Kevin's been out, so the doors have been open. So, yeah. So I couldn't find the usual cream that I like, but I managed to find a cream. So hopefully it's taking a bit of the, the um, itch away. So that's good. Uh, 
They don't know as much as they used to. When I was younger, I used to eat my mozzies a lot more. I think they don't like my diet so much. My blood, I don't think it's as tasty as it used to be, but I still react when I get a bite. So, I'm going to have dinner, watch some TV. We might watch another, what do we watch the other night? A Peaky Blinders we started. We only watched half of an episode, so I might try and watch some more of that and see what that's like. Or a documentary or something, I don't know. So there's my dinner. So it's just a quinoa and it's got beans and vegetable mix, a frozen mix. And then the snitchel, and then I just, Kevin was having some bits of potato. I thought, I thought a few bits of potato in as well. I might, if I'm hungry after this, I'll have some more potato or make some popcorn or something. If I still want something else later on. And of course, a little bit of sweet chili sauce. <laughs> I would use barbecue sauce, but I haven't got any at the moment, so sweet chilli it was. And I've got a little friend. You my friend Rosie? You my friend? I don't even think I showed you some of the Christmas decorations. A little sneak peek. I'm actually not going to be doing all the Christmas decorations this year. Um, I'm going to do the front entry table and I'll probably do it in the kitchen. I haven't got the Christmas plates out yet, so I'll try and do that tomorrow. I've forgotten about them. Um, yeah, and then that'll probably be it. So I'll just do a little tour, I guess, of showing what I've got out. But I'm to with some of what I did last year, I think. We end up watching a couple of um, documentaries, one about Lego and one about fat dogs. <laughs> so it's not both interesting though. So we're just going to bed now. So good night and I'll see you probably later on during the week. Okay, night.